so glad to be home. I got my Chevelle bag. Yeah, she looking so pretty. Look at her. All green and looking like she ready to race. Got some new exhaust tips put on her. Some things look right too. See, you know, you gotta, you gotta make sure you dress her up right because a lot of times people just throw stuff on your car. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how the hell things are supposed to really fit and they just be welding. See, I got a guy, he, he did it right. He put them things at the right angle. Yeah. Looking clean, boy. The Chevelle, ready to roll out. Yeah, so, uh, what's up, everybody? Big Herc. I'm in my old school 72 Chevelle, rolling out. See, a lot of people have these old cars, they don't really drive them. But I drive mine, you know. I like to take them out and, you know, let them, let them get loose every now and then. Doing a little cruising right now down PCH, out here in uh, sunny Southern California. Malibu. This is a nice little stretch of road. If you're not familiar with PCH, uh, you can you can see PCH has been in numerous movies, and one infamous movie is Fast and Furious, when Paul Walker is driving the Supra down PCH, um, Neptune's Net, which is back the other direction, is a really uh, popular restaurant that a lot of guys hang out at. But um, yeah, we just left a car show. It was a pretty good little turnout. Um, and now we're heading to we'll grab some breakfast, but, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm breaking them in right now. You know, I've, I've been working on this car for about the last four years. And, uh, one thing about an old school is you can't put anything old with anything new. And what I mean by that is when you buy these old cars and you start changing parts, you know, eventually the old parts are gonna give. So you gotta you gotta upgrade the old parts to match the new parts. So I've had to go through this car and I've had to change everything from the radiator to the starter to the AC to um, transmission, drive shaft, rear end, brakes, fuel lines, fuel pump, uh, fuel, the uh, the gas tank, um, whole new rewiring. I did everything to this car. And if you look at my other video, um, I kind of talk about that. But, um, you know, I got a lot of money invested in this car. A lot of people would have probably bought something else that was already done, but there's nothing like building a car from the ground up. You know, it's a lot of fun. And it's, it's personality. You know, a lot of cars are cookie cutter, even though they might be considered um, you know, uh, sports cars or hyper cars, super cars, but when you add your own little touches to a car, it makes the car just a little bit more personal, even though I do uh, enjoy, you know, hyper cars, super cars, and exotics. I think I like, I love all cars, you know, but um, yeah, man, it, it's, it's fun driving this car, you know, it's supercharged, so you know, it's got a lot of torque, a lot of get up and go, and um, it's, it's fun, man. People always give me the thumbs up. I get a lot of thumbs up in this car. But, um, yeah, you know, living with an old school man is uh, it's a lot of fun. And if you haven't got a chance to uh, experience having an older car, I think everybody should have an older car at least once in their life. Something they can fix up and enjoy because um, it brings a smile to your face. You know what I mean? It makes you feel good about you know, actually driving something that you had a, a part to put together. But uh, I'm finally done with this car. I just got it back Thursday. It's got 12,500 miles on it. So it's, you know, I haven't really even got the, you know, really stretched the car out yet. But, um, you know, she's coming together. And uh, I'm going to keep posting these videos, man. Keep you all in the loop. And um, I hope you enjoy them because, like I said, it's, it's a lot of fun living with old school.